Hi guys, this is Danny for Cup and Cakes with me. I know I disappeared, but I'm back. And today we're going to have Baby Anna from Frozen Tutorial. We're going to have the other ones, but we're going to start with Anna today. But before we start the video, you know what to do. Please subscribe if you haven't yet and press the bell button since I don't have a really a date that I put my videos up. All my social media is up there. And if you look for a tutorial in Portuguese or English, just go to my list of videos and then you can find new ones, old ones goodies and all that jazz so today we're gonna dedicate this video to Emily Elizabeth she left me a message and I was very happy so this video is for you and we're gonna start making her body so we're gonna make a long thick like pear shape I'm gonna make it that baby uh, Anna, Anna then she's sitting and like they were playing in the snow. So we are just gonna mark the center, bend a little bit how the back are gonna be and we are gonna mark the center right there. So you get that, that's gonna be the back and we are gonna just fold it and bend it again for like she's sitting on her legs. So you're gonna make it like a S, but the top of the S is gonna be straight, if that makes any sense. You're gonna make the the front part, it's the chest and the belly, and the top part, you need to make a little bit more rounded because she will have her booty and everything else. So the excess of the green on the bottom, I'm cutting it because she has just the rest of her uh, nightgown on. So with the brush, I'm just marking in the center of the front, just to give an impression then you can see you know the knees and the legs and things like that since she's kneeling and down so that's why we want to do this invitation and to give that pretend you know style i'm gonna cut the excess on the top and a diagonal shape because that's gonna help me and um after how to place the head since she's looking to elsa that will always help put a little too big set aside to dry and now we're gonna make two little balls to start making the sleeves of the nightgown um we're gonna make a teardrop shape and bend it just a little bit to make that little rounded you know to follow the round of your shoulders and now i'm just gonna mark a little line to separate and to give even more like a realistic look because normally they have elastic and just making some marks for the fabric and we're gonna need to do that twice of course so let's do it again just be sure then they are in the same size then they look the same and all that So we're gonna place that to the side and make a little circle and flatten out. And we're gonna place right on the top just to give a little finishing where we're gonna put the head, just like it was the little thingies on the top of her nightgown. So now with the pink, we're gonna open a long snake for the little detail on her dress. And we're gonna place right between the chest will be and the rest of the body remember then she's a baby so her chest is little in comparison of the legs because normally when you make an older doll a older figuring the chest is longer because you have the boobs and things like that when the babies they are smaller like shorter I should say and now i made a, the rest of the snake that i didn't use i'm just gonna fold it in two little circles just like that and just showing you guys how to make an easy bow like when you use a bow and you tie your shoe, things like that. I'm sorry, I disappeared. My tutorials disappear a little. I have the party for the little ones. I was so excited. And yes, it rained at the day. So you guys need to have a plan B. But they loved it. Everybody loved it. So I was very crazy, going crazy about that. So I needed to wind down a little bit to go back to my tutorials. So we're going to go back right now. So we have a little a bow and I'm just gonna make a tiny little circle and put it in the center. And we're gonna place right in the front of her nightgown. Now I'm gonna make two little circles for the shoes. You're gonna see four, but don't worry, it's because I was making Anna, Elsa, Kristoff, Olaf, and span all together so if i was going to make a shoe i will make four 
but I decided to separate the videos so you guys don't get all lost or, you know, go all to one side to another like I do because I have no reason or rhyme to make one piece and then jump to the other piece. So I decided to put in one video just Anna and then put in one video just Elsa and so on and so forth. So that's why you see more little shoes because that's what's Elsa's. So now we're gonna start with the face, make an oval shape, and then with your finger you go back and forth, back and forth, and you're gonna separate the top part of the head and the cheeks and lips. So always remember that you need to leave more space on the top of the head where the forehead is than on the bottom of the head where the nose and mouth and chin is. That, so I'm just marking very gentle, and now I'm gonna separate that part and the bottom for the cheeks and for the neck because if you don't do that that part of the the face gets so thick and big then when you put it in your mouth the figurine is gonna look weird so always separate even if you're getting it out like i normally do i don't use as a neck but always do that so when you see your figuring in the side like we're doing now you know then is the shape of the face and i'm just making sure that everything is on i want and i'm marking on the thumb where the eyes are gonna be because always helps you to know where the rest of the parts are gonna be so i mark my nose with a little ball um i don't know what happened to the video was my memory card disappeared so i needed to start again but i just make a little ball and i smooth around and now uh, we started marking the mouth I didn't shape the nose with the clay that was already on the face. I put a little extra and then smooth all around. So now we cut the mouth and we opening it up because Anna is smiling. So I'm not going to worry about inside the mouth. I'm just going to worry about the sides and open it enough and then we're going to finish it when it's a little bit drier. I'm going to just be sure that all the clay is straight and all the lips the upper lips and the lower lips are perfect and the side of the mouth and the smile as well and the side of the nose doesn't have any marks or any of the lines where the two clays got together so if you need a little water please do that too because water really helps to smooth everything out i'm gonna place a little toothpick right there on when i think is everything done i'm gonna set aside and now with the same skin color clay we're gonna start making her arms Anna doesn't have like a long sleeve that's the glitter green that we made so we're gonna worry more about the rest of the arms not just the hands so we made a, like a row and we're gonna separate where the wrist is because the wrist is gonna be like smaller than all the rest of the hands and the arms so we start separating like that and we're gonna flat the little ball that is in the top of this row to start shaping the fingers so you flatten out into like the edges it's like thinner than the rest because when you look your fingers you know they go um like up they go pretty much the same but I like the nails and things like that so if you make it thinner it gives a more even the impression of delicate and cute so that's what we're gonna do and now we're gonna cut it the thumb I'm gonna cut more in the bottom than on the side because if you look at your hands it's not like on the top of your five fingers it's kind of like on the bottom of your palm so that's what we're gonna do and we're gonna separate and smooth all around And now we're gonna start cutting the other fingers. Cut the excess off of the last one. It start smoothing it out so you know if you needed to cut a little bit more. And I'm gonna cut between the fingers to separate them even more. Since she's a baby and she has a little tiny little hand, I wanna separate them very well so you can see even when it's dry. And that helps you to give definition to your hand. Don't forget to, if you haven't yet, to add me at Instagram. It's Pound Cup and Cakes Gourmet all together. Because there I was explaining why it wasn't videos coming up. And while the videos are coming, this picture of Anna and Elsa and all that was there for a while already. So don't forget always to check it out and add that so you get all the info very fast. 
but we're back in the routine. I'm editing all the videos that I made for the party, like the cake. I know that I put it the whole time lapse cake, but I just decided to make that cake very fast. So I really didn't think about the video, but I wanted to record for you guys. But it's gonna come a lot in the video for you. So I hope you guys don't forget to subscribe. So I'm marking the fingers, marking the hands, being sure that I don't have any scratches or anything. If I need a little water to smooth any piece, I'm gonna use it and I'm just gonna separate now the fingers just to be sure that between them doesn't have any clay coming up. And her arms are ready. You can mark in the center too. You can mark even the lines on the palm if you want to. But since she has her palms on the dress, that's just going to, for me, just be a waste of time. So we don't need to see it. And now we're going to make it the other side. Check if they're just both the same size and cut the excess and we're gonna set aside. So now we're gonna open the sleeve, that one that we just made and set aside on the bottom, make a little uh, opening, like a little hole on the bottom so we can um, place her arms on it. Use a little water or a little glue and open enough for the whole arm to fit and then you're gonna close on top of it. And now we're gonna place inside. Now I'm gonna remark all the lines I made on the sleeve in case when I open I lost some. And I'm gonna place right next to the top of her dress, coming down the whole body. And you can even glue a little bit in the bottom if you want. The same thing to the other side. And now we're gonna make a little tiny flat smile in black to put it inside her mouth. But I waited a little bit for my head to be a little drier, um, probably a couple hours, and to try to do this. Because if you try to do that when your head's wet, you're gonna lose the shape of the lips, you're gonna lose all the shapes. So just wait a little bit and then you just make flat and you try to put everything inside, even if you need to cut a little bit more the extra off but just place inside the mouth. And now I'm making a little tiny, tiny little thing of a row to make the top teeth of her mouth. I'm just gonna make the row and then separate it with the tool just to give the impression between the teeth. So you make the little lines between them. You don't need to make them separate and try to put it there since it's so small. So you can put the whole row and just separate the teeth like that. Now we, my head's dry and we're gonna start drawing where the eyes are gonna be. I always like to draw before I start painting because then I know as, if it's exactly the way I want it to do. Because painting can help you if you have a little, if you're learning to start uh, modeling, like molding um, faces, I know that it's harder. Um, with the paint you can fix a lot of things you know if the sides are not the same if you have one more side a little bit more wider than one side to the other side of the face so always draw before you start painting so you can fix all the difference and now we're gonna put all the base in white 
and I'm also gonna make the teeth just a little wider because the paint is always more white than any clay and now I'm gonna start making the dark blue on the center of her eyes I know my white is wet I didn't wait to draw to dry because I want to mix this dark white this dark blue on my white so it gives you more like a 3d effect not like a flat color so that's why my white is a little wet but be careful to don't mess it up and go all the way around and now with the liner i'm gonna start making her eyelashes and eyebrows And under the, the eyes too and we're gonna do it to the other side being sure that my blue has just a line in black between the blue and the white to give a little bit more a pop and now we're gonna make the light blue inside the dark blue. If your paint is a little thick, like mine is, just put a little water and mix and mix and mix and you're gonna have a little bit easier time with it. And then we're gonna place the blue right there. Let it dry, make the circle and black on the top of that part and we just did it but let it dry before you do that and now with the black dry we're just gonna make a little dot for the light reflection with the white the white and always remember to make it the same size the same side not the, the same size too but the same size oh my god I can speak the same side like if you're putting in the left side of the face both need to be in the left side of the eyes got it I think you got it now. and I'm just making polka dots because she has red hair so she has freckles so we're gonna just make it the freckles making polka dots all over her face and now with a little dark brown I'm just gonna mark the eyebrows with a little blush or petal dust or whatever you need for your material you're using we're gonna make her cheeks pop a little bit with a little bit of pink just like that and we're gonna set aside we're gonna open up like a ceramic color like a brown red brownish color for the hair so you open a circle and we're gonna cover the whole back of the hair in the front and now we're gonna make two little circles and a teardrop shape for the pigtails she has on the back of her hair so we're gonna place kind of like behind the ears I just realized that I didn't show here the part of the ears probably because it was when I was making Elsa but um, if you need it you don't know how to do it just look at all the videos and it's gonna be there but just make a circle you know bend the center and cut in half so you have two perfect ears for both sides so now I'm just making the bangs on one side and making sure that it's out of her face and then everything is smooth and marking a little bit of lines to give you even more impression of hair and now we're gonna make the same thing to the other side a little bigger for the bang of the other side of the face center to the side of the ear and her hair is pretty much done you don't need to mark the lines but I always like to do it because it doesn't take you long and gives you a little bit more life for your figuring and always smooth everything at the back because you don't know what side of the cake or decoration you place in this so you want the back to be cute too and now we're gonna place with a little glue the head on the body and she's already dry and I'm gonna just use my sharpie to give some details on her um, pajamas 
you can make as many details as you want I just wanted to make one right there to give the impression that her chest was small because of the baby size and she's done I will have also I like a her tutorial by Elsa and Anna and Olaf Kristoff and Sven for you guys I hope you guys are gonna like it please don't forget to subscribe my channel because it really helps me and helps me you guys to pass to your friends and to find me again give me a little like and don't forget to look at the show more tab because it has all my links materials all the information down there for you and leave me a comment so I can dedicate my next video for you too thank you so much for watching and I talk to you guys soon Bye.